So we wanted to understand what, what, what the pogo sticks were all about. We built our own little miniaturized uh, juggling versions of the pogo sticks and had a theory that would explain both. So that's the very first robot that we had. So there's a human operator with a joystick doing roughly what you would do when you're driving a car, which is turn a steering wheel and press on the gas pedal. The machine could uh, choose its footholds, figure out what, where to place what leg. The robot is just exploring this environment. It's never seen this environment before. It doesn't have a map of the environment. If you have a large team and the team sticks to each other, they can collect lots of information and they can register this information to a common coordinate system. Uh, the biggest thing for us was to actually get an aerial robot to fly uh, reliably inside. The next step was obviously getting lots of aerial robots to coordinate. A robot made of mostly identical pieces that can be arranged in different ways. So it can, you can put them all on a line like a snake or put them you know, with multiple arms and legs and so you, you can change its shape. It's kind of like Legos, but there are, each module has the ability to move, have sensors and computation, can think and see as well. Started out with a little small robot walking along and then he kicks it and it falls apart and then it puts itself back together again and keeps walking. We wanted to understand um, the, the discrepancy between what the pitiful machines that we can build as robotics folks and the wonderful machines that the animals represent and what the mathematicians can tell us about this. knew that Rex was already a machine that we didn't quite understand why it was working quite that well. We're going to tell you all the things we're capable of doing and you tell us what can be done with these capabilities. <laughs>